Welcome to another edition of the Solopreneur Movement Podcast. My name is Dr. Bruce. I'm the founder and director of 90 Day Sales Manager, of course, the host of the Solopreneur Movement. Every single week, I try to come into your life with content that I believe will help you move the needle, whether that's personally and or professionally around your sales, service, marketing, and all of this is a mindset. This week's topic, we're going to focus on tough times don't last, but tough people do. Every industry right now that I'm coaching, housing, banking, insurance, financial, there's volatility, there's challenges that are going on. And I just wanna share with you some ways that I have persevered and built resilience when I have gone through challenging times, whether that's personally or professionally. So let's get this party started. Tough times don't last, tough people do. What's going on, my friends? This week, I want to focus on a concept or really a term that, you know, I love me some one-liners, right? So tough times don't last, tough people do. And a lot of people that I'm coaching right now in the housing, banking, insurance, financial space are going through some challenging times, you know, industry-wide. Obviously, we have inflation going on, so that's impacting all the different industries, uh, including my financial advisor friends and my mortgage friends, right? The rates are up. You know, when I look at the real estate side of it, uh, inventory is low. So there's just a lot of things that are going on right now in the markets and the industries that we're all needing to persevere through, right? And so it comes back to that concept, tough times don't last, tough people do. It's during these times that we get the calluses, it's during these times that we get battle tested and we have to have that resilience to get through it. And I know this is easier said than done, right? So I look back at my business in 2020 when COVID happened and all my live events stopped. And that's really my number one, you know, mainstream of income is being able to travel and go speak in front of groups of people. And so all of a sudden now I'm like, holy crap, what do I do with my business? Right. So no matter what the different coaches that I had in my life, it was like when you're in the moment, you're in the moment. And when the, there's gray sky, uh, skies and when we feel like we're getting rained on. Right. And all that kind of stuff. When you're in that moment, like it's OK to feel the emotions that you're feeling. It's OK to maybe throw a pity party for a day or two. But at the end of the day, when you see your work as your vocation, your voice, your calling versus an occupation, something that occupies your time that you receive a paycheck for, you have to persevere. You have to be resilient through that. All right. And I just want to share with you some of the times in my own life and some of the different lessons that I learned through that. Right. That I had to persevere through that. I can now sympathize through other people who have been through similar situations. Right. So I think back to when I was 17, 18 years old and I moved down to Tennessee. You know, I moved from Michigan to Tennessee to Maryville College to play baseball. And I leave behind all of my family and my friends and really everything that I know. And I get down there. And I mean, I literally, guys, I cried the first two nights. I was so homesick uh, going through that process. But I had to find new support groups, right? I had to find um, different ways to occupy my time to get through that. So I really just honed in on my craft. And during those six to nine months, I really had the best experience uh, that I had ever had, the most growth that I'd ever had during that time. Um, so that's just an example of something, you know, again, early on in my life that I had to persevere through and build resilience that helped me come out the other end. You know, some other times in my life when I when I really think back through these, because we've all been there, we've all had these different defining moments in our lives that we have to persevere through, right? You know, I think about different breakups. You know, we probably have all had a breakup that we've gone through with a significant other. And again, when you're in that moment, it's easier said than done just to kind of say, hey, move on or suck it up, buttercup, right? Like when you're in that moment and you're just so emotional and you're almost depressed, I mean, it is hard. Like it's hard to get out of bed. It's hard to not think about them. It's hard not to like just get over that. And so whenever I think about that concept in terms of my own life, what I have learned is never fully give your confidence to another person, right? Like never fully give your self-worth and let another person completely dictate what that is. Right. Just because you go through a breakup or something like that, it doesn't make you any less um, in those moments. You know, there's no such thing as rejection. When you go through something like that, you're still just as good as you were two days before they broke up with you. Right. So, you know, I think about that again in the industries of the different people that I coach for my mortgage friends, for instance, you know, when we're when they're going through the 2020, 2021, their best two years ever and they're crushing it and they're not even like necessarily working as hard as being proactive in their prospecting. But yet they're hitting record numbers, you know, and now all of a sudden the market shifts and they're down with 70 percent. Like they're not any less good than they were two years ago. It's just something shifted. Something happened. And so don't give away your confidence to other people. I know, again, easier said than done. 
all right, within that process. And then again, I just think about in my own business, you know, in 2020, when my business shifted and I go from speaking live events and everything's getting canceled and now all of a sudden my revenue's dipping and I don't have as many clients and all those kinds of things, you know, and you're like lo actually losing money in your business is always focus on the activities and not the outcomes. You know, I was listening to a Tom Brady podcast that he does every single week. And of course, I don't like to date these uh, videos that I do these podcasts, you know, I'm out here in Scottsdale right now. It's beautiful. It is October and you know, it's like seven degrees. I'm it's sweater weather. I'm at a conference speaking, but you know, I'm listening to Tom Brady's podcast and you know, there's all kinds of things that Brady's going through right now with his personal life. And of course, professionally now for the first time, I say not for the first time, but you know, the, the Buccaneers are struggling. Their offense is struggling. They're not putting up any points. And so right now, you know, he does his podcast, but he's just an internal optimist. He's just like, listen, I will not quit on anything that I do in my life. And he basically just talks about that. We're gonna we're gonna try to fix this, right? We're gonna focus on the processes. We're not gonna focus on the results. We're gonna focus on the activities because the activities always dictate the outcomes. And that's the same thing for all of us in our businesses. That's the best way that I can kind of can coach all of you when it comes to tough times. Don't ask tough people to do. We have to stay motivated. We have to wake up and continue to go out there and focus on the activities. As cliche as that sounds, right? In the sporting world, we call that coach speak. As cliche as that sounds, as vanilla as that is, that is really all that we can focus on. Now, I will say we have to focus on the right activities, but as long as you're waking up and doing the right activities and you're making you know, the, the different contacts and the different marketing activities that we should be doing, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when good things are gonna happen for us, all right? So some final just tips that I would share with you in terms of building resiliency and going through difficult or challenging times. Number one, just accept it. Accept the different things that are maybe going on, the external things that are going on that are out of your control. Um, but then internally, what are what are my contributions to these different things that are going on, right? So kind of taking maybe some accountability, but also accepting your emotions, accepting the feelings that you're going through, and then stay focused on the solutions to those outcomes, all right? The second part of this would be uh, getting support. Get support from other people around you and in, in your support groups, right? Prioritize healthy relationships. Prioritize your health and wellness. Um, again, common sense isn't always common practice. So get support. Get around maybe different support groups that the, the, the sun is shining. You know, the skies aren't gray. Um, they're focused on the positives versus, versus the negatives, right? Because we live in this world now where there's always something going on and there's drama all around us, and it's easy to get sucked into that. So we have to move in the opposite direction of the world's negative pull. So getting the right support from the right people in your life, all right? And now, in combination to all of that is we just have to find ways to stay motivated. We have to find ways to keep pushing the proverbial ball down the field. So every single week, I like to come into your life with something that I believe is relevant to you in the moment, tied to your sales, your service, your marketing, and of course, all of this is a mindset.